Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And as we continue to take a look at how you can speed up your Windows 10 operating system, especially on older computers, one of the oldest tricks in the world. It used to be done with a command we'd called msconfig, and we'd go to the startup tab, and then we'd look at what starts with your PC. In uh, Windows 8, I believe, they changed that, and it stayed like that in Windows 10 and 11. They moved the Startup tab to the Task Manager. So in Windows 10, and of course, if you're on Windows 11, it will work also, right-click on the Start, go into Task Manager. In here, you'll see one of the tabs called Startup, and here it tells you what is enabled to start with your PC. What you want to have in here is the minimum amount of things that start up, but you don't want to have, um, you know, disabled things that are important. For example, you don't want to disable the security notification from uh, the, your antivirus. Uh, you don't want to have necessarily uh, disabled certain functionalities that might be important. Um, for example, here Microsoft Edge has a uh, startup enabled. This actually has to do a lot with the fact that it actually makes it faster to start up when you need it. Uh, so it kind of preloads in memory. So all you have to do, simply click on what you don't want. For example, Cortana, I don't use, disable. Uh, Logitech Download Assistant, I don't need that, and I will disable. Um, OneDrive I use, I like to have the synchronization, so it's all right. Uh, Microsoft Edge, I will disable actually and um, just keep what I want to have enabled enabled and that's it. Now, if you don't know exactly what is safe to enable or disable in here, what you could do is go one by one, restart your PC and see what is missing or not or if everything looks okay. Um, the impact of this is twofold. First, it will have an impact on startup. When you start your computer, it might actually start up much faster with the maximum of these software disabled. Why? Because each of these software will be loading at the same time you actually ask Windows to load up when you start your PC or when you restart your PC. That means you have Windows that has to take the time to load all of these things, where if you disable the majority of what's in here, it doesn't have to be, of course, loaded up when you start your computer. So the startup time might actually improve a lot. And the other thing is all of that is taking some memory. And so when we talk about RAM memory, um, we don't want to have things that we don't need in there. We want RAM to be only used for what we want and what is we need. Um, not for things that we might never use, but is always put in RAM every time you start up. So because of that, and because it's going to remove the startup processes, it's going to remove that program from always running in the background, not only is your startup time going to be faster, but your PC in general will also be faster in operation because it doesn't have to handle all the extra software in the background that is often not used. A lot of uh, software is actually adding a little startup uh, tab there. So check out what you have from time to time. If you are on the habit of installing all sorts of things on your PC, check what's in the startup and uh, disable all the stuff you don't use. This is also why we try not to install too many software and you know, no need for extras and no need for any assistance of some sort. No need to have any optimizers. These actually are more hog than uh, helpful and create entries and the startup tab that the PC has to go to deal with, of course. So that's another way where you can uh, maybe um, have your PC run faster. Uh, the impact of this is actually can be um, visible on pretty much any system, even fast computers. But the older computers in general have much more benefit of just disabling the maximum amount of software at startup time. If you enjoy my, my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.